PLO5 is to exemplify ethical practices of technology usage. We've all seen in the news in the past few years where bullying has occurred through most, mostly social media uh, between classmates. It has resulted in uh, suicides and things like that. Um, but there's more to ethics than that. It is very important if you as an educator use forums that students can communicate back and forth. I highly recommend the use of uh, avatars which uh, for example you know this would be an avatar right here that uh, you really can't see anything going on in the background it doesn't give a lot of movement uh, people can't tease you about how you look um, unless they want to make fun of your avatar but if your avatar doesn't look anything like what you do uh, then they're just making fun of something that's you know plain and simply not reality and so that's less likely to hurt somebody um, but also there's other ethical issues and that is I find that face-to-face -face communication promotes the best honesty in most cases because we are trained and learned to spot line through certain habits you know if you ask me something and I give you a lot of ums, ums, ums and I'm looking around you know my eyes upward shifting back and forth looking for an answer you pretty much know I'm fishing okay so with ethical standards it's important to teach the right thing to the right people it wouldn't be fair to your students to take something that was authored seven or eight years ago on current trends and have it you know be talking about uh, oh and I know this happened way more than 10 years ago but let's say the breaking down of the Berlin Wall that's not a current trend or a current news item so it wouldn't be ethical as a teacher to just keep cutting and pasting and copying assignments from one year to the next it is a grand thought to a lot of people that I speak to and about technology and learning that oh wow once it's made I can just pass it forward and that's not the case uh, a lot of companies now produce textbooks along with uh, programs and CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs that uh, enable the teacher and the students to keep current and more importantly for the teacher to keep current so that we can be better teachers. So there's lots of ethical things that should happen. Other things are it's very common for people to cut, cut and paste from internet resources. Our internet resources have become much more reliable but copying them is not acceptable work. Uh, copying facts is fine but you still need to have some form of originality in the assignment that you submit and that's why um, businesses like turnitin.com exist and they are pretty effective and pretty accurate. So ethics is really important because we have a tendency over the screen and over the telephone to be not as nice and forthright as we can. Think of the last time you spoke with a telemarketer. You may have been the nicest, most giving person in the world, but the telemarketer wasn't. Were they being pushier with you over the phone than they would have been if they were face to face with you? Or were you more rude to them than you would have been if you were face to face with them? So these are things to consider when talking about ethics and I feel that they're easily managed and controlled with the use of bots and programs and live monitoring. Thank you very much for listening.